Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back, <clears throat> excuse me, to another and the final, uh, the final main one of the Chuck Norris, all the Chuck Norris series of reviews. And today I'm going to be talking about the Walker Texas Ranger spinoff, Sons of Thunder, um, which aired, it's kind of weird how they did this. Um, season four of Walker, and I'll get more into this. Uh, was the the pilot, so to speak, of this, which was a two-part episode. And then um, the the two lead guys, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Welchek and Marco Sanchez, guest starred on a bunch of episodes of Walker in seasons five and six. And then in between some of the, ep like towards the end of season six, in between some of the episodes, they aired, these because it's only six episodes they aired these six episodes and then went right back into walker and then the show was canceled and you never heard or saw from these guys again so it is kind of weird how they they did that um definitely did not get closure on the two characters um but yeah it's kind of i don't think any other tv show has done what this show did or what they did with this show rather um, but it is kind of an odd way to do things. Um, but it, it is what it is at this point. But yes, this is the only, uh, Walker Texas Ranger spinoff TV show. And again, how they did it was kind of a, kind of a weird way, but it is what it is. Um, but I liked it for what it was. I do wish that CBS decided to continue the show, um, but the reason why they didn't, it actually performed really well in the ratings. Apparently, it did better ratings than Walker did for seasons five and six. But it was apparently really expensive to produce. And I guess they figured, you know, we'll just keep Walker going because Walker's already expensive enough. Because at that point, season five, season six, I'm sure Chuck Norris was making some pretty good money per episode. Um, you know, I'm sure he was making a couple million dollars a season, especially at that point. Um, it's like, why are we going to pump all this money when we're paying Chuck Norris enough? But, hey, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, CBS canceled it after six episodes, and then they aired the last couple episodes of season six of Walker, and that was it. But you never found out what happened to these characters. They never explained on Walker what happened to Jimmy and or uh, Jimmy, right? Is his name Jimmy on the show? I know the actor's name is Jimmy. Carlos. I don't know why. Jimmy and Carlos. Uh, or Trent and Carlos. It, I don't know what it is with the names. I'm screwing the names up. Explain what happened to these guys. Did they die? Did they leave? Like, they never... And then season seven and eight of Walker is when they brought in the other two characters. So why didn't they just bring these guys back? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have the answers to these questions. You would have to ask the people that were in the show, not me. I don't know. I'm just a fan. Um, but I liked this show. I did like Sons of Thunder. Again, it's only six episodes. Uh, I believe all the episodes are still here on YouTube. Apparently, this is being rerun on TV. Um, I don't remember the name of the channel, but apparently, I looked it up earlier, apparently they're showing reruns of this, so that's kind of cool. Um, but, again, I don't know if they still are, but at one point, every episode was here on YouTube, which is where I've watched them and downloaded them and put them on DVD, because there's, of course, no DVD release of this show. Which you would think that being the Walker Texas Ranger spinoff, and the fact that Chuck Norris is in most of the episodes, they would have put it out on DVD. But, of course, they did not. Um, so I had to make my own DVD. And that's what it is. Uh, but the quality, I remember the episode. They're, they're decent quality. I mean, they're VHS recordings, obviously. But it's not all, like, squiggly and grainy. Like, you can actually, like, comprehend what's going on on the screen, which is nice. So, yeah. So again, um, the way that this show came about was a little different. You know, the, again, uh, towards the end of season four of Walker, there was a two-part episode called Sons of Thunder, which was like the pilot to this. Um, 
where we're introduced to the characters uh, Carlos, who is a uh, cop with the Dallas PD, not a Texas Ranger. He's just a regular cop. And Trent, who uh, his dad was a reverend who was a good friend of Walker's, and he was in the Army. And in that particular episode, uh, Trent's dad dies of a heart attack, and he comes home, leaves the Army, and tries to find out what happened. Um, and Walker and Trevette, I'm just reading off of Wikipedia, Walker and Trevette are going after a serial killer who wants Carlos dead, um, and Trent gets involved and saves Carlos' life, and they bring down the, the guy. So in season five and six of Walker, uh, they're both in a number of episodes. For some reason, the guy that uh, Carlos, Mar uh, Marcos uh, Sanchez, who was on Sequest, actually, um, he was in a couple more episodes for whatever reason, um, and there was one episode where it was a Hayes Cooper story, so they got to play the Wild West characters. Um, so in these episodes, uh, Trent opens up a martial arts school, and it's also like a protection agency for people that don't want to go to the cops. Sounds really familiar, right? <laughs> How many TV shows they do that on? And... Carlos is still a cop, so they kind of team up and help each other out, and they also help out with Walker and stuff like that, so I guess the response to those characters was really good, and that led to this show. Um, so in this show, they change it up just a little bit. Uh, Carlos leaves the police department because his partner gets murdered, and you know, they, he couldn't get to him, and Trent um, decides to change it up. Instead of having it be a protection agency, they become uh, private investigators, and the six episodes is them, you know, going through these different cases and stuff. And, of course, again, Chuck Norris is in four of the six episodes, so he shows up to help him out and, and stuff like that. Um, but, again, um, you know... The show did really well, and it just, I guess, CBS didn't want to pay all this money, you know, which is weird because after this show, the they had Martial Law, and Martial Law got canceled because it was too expensive, apparently. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe there was another reason why. I don't know. Um, maybe, again, I don't know. Maybe... There was some political stuff with Chuck Norris or I don't know. But it's just kind of odd to me how instead of continuing Sons of Thunder, they did Martial Law and Martial Law got canceled after two seasons because apparently it was really expensive to produce. And I also know that Sammo Hung had issues because he wanted more control over the scripts because by season two, all he did was kind of just fight people and he wanted to do more and CBS said no. Um which I know I mentioned Martial Law in the Walker review because they had the crossover. I definitely want to get that show sometime soon. It's, you can get it for like 20 bucks online. It's not expensive, but I have not seen that show since it was on, and I really want to check it out again. Because I really liked it when it was on, and I was really like ticked off when it got canceled because I love Sammo Hung. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I did like this. Sh and, again, it, uh, it was only six episodes, which is a shame. Because I would like to have seen this continue. And, again, why they didn't include these characters in Season 7 and 8 of Walker is beyond me. Or, could we just get a simple explanation to where these characters went? Like, oh, Trent went back in the Army and Carlos moved to Mexico. Or, or I know that's kind of fucked up to say because he's Mexican. But, you know, like... Why did we not get an explanation of what happened to the Sons of Thunder? Like, at least give your audience that satisfaction. And just explain what happened to the characters. Like, I don't know. That shit just really bums me out. And it really... It's not... Then this is not the only show where it happens. Like, it happens on many TV shows. Um, we rarely ever get an explanation as to why characters leave. Oh, they just left. Well, no, like... Right in the story, like, what really happened? I mean, this isn't Power Rangers. You just can't send the people you get rid of to a peace conference every time. P eventually. 
eventually people are going to catch on. I mean, it's like, come on now. Um, but yeah, so, you know, the, the leads, uh, Jimmy Welchek and Marco Sanchez, I liked them and I thought they had good chemistry together as Trent and Carlos. Um, again, like I mentioned, Marco Sanchez was on, uh, Sequest. He was in, I think season two and three. I don't think he was in the first season. Um, Sequest is another one of those shows where they, they bounced around and, and did a bunch of stuff. Um, which is definitely a show that I will review one day here on the channel. Cause I do really like Sequest. Um, okay. Season one. I think he's in all the seasons. Okay. I just, he's not in every single episode. Um, but I like, you know, he was also in American Pie 2. He was in The Rookie, the baseball movie. Apparently he was in Star Trek Into Darkness. Fuck that movie. Um, but I liked him and, again, James Welchek, who he didn't do much. He was in a, lot, a bunch of TV stuff. Um, and apparently he's a martial artist in real life, which is cool. But I thought they did fine. Then they had, like, this older dude that was like the mentor, I thought he was fine. And they had like a, their sidekick was like their secretary. So it was a little bit different from Walker, which I didn't mind her. But I mean, it wasn't a bad show, in my opinion. I did like what they did. And then um, they had Trent's brother, right? Was his little brother? Yeah, it was his little brother. There was episodes that he was in. Um, he was also, the kid was also in Unforgiven with Clint Eastwood. He was in The Quest with Van Damme, um, Andre, the movie about the seal, Magic in the Water. I remember that movie. Uh, Man of the House, that's a good one. But yeah, he was on some episodes of Walker, and then they threw him on here. But he played the kid brother. I thought he did fine. He, wait, he was on Bucky O'Hare? He did the voice of the kid? I remember that show. That was a cool one. Okay. He's been in a, okay, now that I'm looking, he's actually been in a bunch of stuff, which is cool. But I, Bucky O'Hare, that's another one I have to review for the channel. But yeah, I mean, again, it was it was a cool show. I mean, I did like what they did. It was it was like Walker, except, you know, what they ended up doing with Walker was they kind of had him be a side character. See, and that's what I don't understand, like why, you know, okay, well, we don't want to pay all this other money for this other show. We could just have Walker on his own show where he is in the background. But still, why did you not just bring these characters back that people obviously liked? It just, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It just doesn't make sense. But that's how it goes in Hollywood. Um, but, and I'm just going to read it off of epguides.com. I used to read that site a lot as a kid. Um, but episode one, um, again, it's the first episode where Carlos's partner gets murdered. Uh, Trent opens up the detective agency and they team up together. Uh, Chuck Norris is in this episode. Episode two, fighting back where, um, the mother of one of, uh, Trent's students gets attacked. And he uses martial arts to help her out. See, so they were kind of still doing the martial arts stuff in this one. And then the other plot of the show is they have this uh, computer theft ring that they have to bring down. Um, episode 3, uh, Butch is the name of the older guy that helps him out. He finds out he has a daughter um, and her fiancé gets murdered and they have to figure out what's going on. Episode 4, um, this guy gets kidnapped and they have to find him. And then um, Alex, actually from Walker, she's in this episode where uh, this daughter of a friend of hers gets traumatized and they're trying to help her out. Um, episode 5, Underground, where uh, Butch helps out all these homeless people. And then he goes missing, and Carlos and Trent have to go find him, like, underground in the sewers and stuff. 
Then the last episode, Thunder by Your Side, this mobster, uh, his mistress runs away and they have to find her. But of course, not everything is as it seems. Um, I think I'm trying to, I'll pull it up here in a second. But I think Chuck Le or was only in the first four episodes, if I'm not mistaken. And then he's not in the last two or something to that effect. Let me just pull it up quick. But, you know, it was cool to see him when he was there. And I guess they figured, like, again, why are we going to have Walker on another show where he's not in the show the whole time and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. I get, yeah. But again, why would you not just bring these dudes back? You know, I just... Yeah, the last two episodes, he's not in. Let me look quick here. Or no, he is in the... Okay, he's not in... Okay, Moment of Truth fighting back. He's in the first two. And then um, Lost and Found and Thunder. Okay, so Daddy's Girl and... So Underground. So three and five he's not in. But the first two and then the fifth episode and then the sixth episode he's actually in. Okay. But apparently according to the production numbers they switched episodes four and five out. Whatever. It happens. <laughs> Um, but okay. So, yeah, and then, um, Alex, Cherie J. Wilson, she's in three episodes. She's in, um, the last two, and then Fighting Back, and then Trevette is actually in one episode. Um, he's in, uh, the first one, so that's pretty cool. And then some of the guest stars, I'm looking here. Um, Leo Rossi was in one episode. That's pretty cool. He's in, the, I think, the is it the last episode? Or no, the one of the last episodes he's in. Um, the one where the mafia mistress runs away. And the rest of the people, uh, I'm not really recognizing, but... I actually, no, some of the people. A lot, it's a lot of stunt people that just kind of filled in, played fill-in roles, but that's still cool. Um... But yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it was it was a cool, I mean, a very similar to Walker, except they weren't Texas Rangers. They were just guys helping people out, and it was a little bit different, which was nice. Um, but it was cool to see Chuck Norris there, but I guess CBS figured, why are we going to spend all this money, you know? But again, I just, I don't get it, because Martial Law was on for two seasons, fucking tinnitus, and then they canceled that because of cost. I don't. I don't know, just maybe it was a politics thing, maybe, I don't know. You'd have to ask Chuck and, and the other people that worked on the show what the reasoning is to why the show, number one, got canceled, and number two, why didn't they give these characters closure? But that happens more than people think in TV shows and movies. But I wish this would get a DVD release, I don't get it, because Martial Law has one, Walker has one, maybe one day... You know, Sons of Thunder will get a DVD release. It would be nice just to have it officially, you know, not a bootleg. But, hey, we all know how that goes. So, yeah, that is it. Um, I hope that you guys not only enjoyed this review, but you have enjoyed all the Chuck Norris reviews. We have come to the end here. A little bit sad, a little bit bittersweet. Um, but I will be doing a bonus video involving Chuck Norris. Uh, one of my viewers had mentioned it in the comments on one of the other videos, and I said, you know what? I will do that. So that'll be the next one. And then since they only ever made a sequ one sequel to one of his movies that he wasn't in, I will review that, which of course is Delta Force 3, The Killing Game, which is not a good movie. It sucks. Um, but I figure I'll just review it. And that will be that. And then we will move on to the next stuff. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Take care. And I'll talk to you guys later. See you.